Hey, welcome. Uh, this is John Sterner. I am the art instructor for uh, Art270. And um, yeah, welcome aboard. Uh, I'm a little behind uh, school year. My daughter graduated. Uh, this, yeah, uh, I just uh, finished teaching at Lakeview Public where I am at right now. We are in our first day of summer uh, vacation, but we're also in in-service too at the end of the school year. And we're cleaning the rooms and whatnot. So um, had meetings all morning. So and I apologize. It's just a busy week of graduation. Hey, but here we go. We're starting class. It is Art 270. Uh, the book we use for the class is this Art for the Fun of It. Um, it is a book by uh, Peggy Davis and Jenkin. And it is an outstanding book. This is a book that all the reading will take place in. We also use a book uh, and we do some drawings out of this. Uh, we do probably uh, 13 drawings. Um, so a drawing 3D. This is by Mark Kistler. It is a great book and it used the Lee Imes method of drawing. So it's exciting. It's good stuff. Um, you will, on the first week of assignments, you should only need a Sharpie or, let's see, I had my Sharpie sitting right here. Now what did I do with it? There it is. Um, you'll only need a pencil and a Sharpie. So, um, for most of the assignments and you can use blank drawing paper. The other part of the assignment will be to use, um, I prefer a drawing pad. Uh, I really prefer this one. This one's mixed media paper, uh, mixed media. It's heavyweight paper, so it's a lot thicker than regular paper. You can paint on it. You can oil, oil pastel it. You can use acrylics. You can even use oil paint on it if you want, but it takes to the drawing mediums that we use really well. This one is a nine by 12 inch, which is ideal size, but you could use a smaller one. It just depends on how big your drawings are going to be. So this is my own personal one and um, I have lots of drawings happening in it, but I think that paper is an outstanding form of paper. So uh, feel free to use it. You're also going to need um, some other items. You're going to need a, a pen. I like the Precise V7. It's a great ink pen. Um, it's a seven millimeter. It is archival ink, which means that it won't bleed and it won't also uh, dissipate over time and it will stay the same color and you can spill water on it and it won't disappear. Um, this is a non-archival one. This is a Tombow drawing pen. It's got a brush tip and a fine tip pen. You can use this as well or a felt tip pen, but they're just non-archival, which means that if you're young, uh, two-year-old son comes over and tips over the water and your drawing disappears. Yeah, it's because you use non-archival. And then there's uh, the fine point Sharpie, not the extra fine. This is just a fine point. So this is the type I prefer. There's also bigger sizes. You can use those as well. You're going to need um, an oil pastel set. I really like Craypaw Junior Artists. I like Craypaw to begin with, uh, oil pastels. Um, oil pastels are a really cool medium that I use, uh, they are for painting and we can use them for lots of different assignments. Um, you're also gonna maybe want a watercolor set. I have one here by Prang that is, oops, wrong way. Um, this is a 16 color set of soft pan and then this is an eight pan. Uh, just depends on what you want. They're pretty cheap. You can get them at a store. This one's been slightly used. Um, I also have my own, this is a fancier version by Derwent, and you can see it is slightly used too because I use it. Um, so you're gonna need something like that. Uh, if you really wanna get super fancy, uh, these are the best. They are gouache, which is another way, it's a very, this is a little nicer set than regular poster paint or tempera. So this is something that we could use. You don't have to, but that watercolor will work just fine. Um, also, I've got colored pencils in a variety of different mediums but colored pencils might be nice. Um, you're also gonna need a sewing needle, uh, specifically a um, an embroidery needle. You're gonna need some um, uh, sewing. Uh, I use uh, embroidery thread and then uh, two or three pieces of felt, which overall, that I think that whole thing will cost you uh, maybe $1.50 to $2 when you look at it overall for the sewing project. Um, so those are the things you're gonna need for class. Everything I do with class is under the assessments tab. And then underneath that, there'll be, it'll be located by day and week. So it'll say day one, week one for today. And then it'll have three assignments or four assignments listed. 
Um, underneath the next tab, the next day's assignment will be week one, day two. And then everything is listed on the assessments page. Um, I don't use the um, uh, I don't use the outline or the um, that as much the announcements page. Um, I just I don't use D2L other than to teach this summer class. So um, it's one of those things. It's uh, I have to know about seven different grading systems and ways to use grading. So I, I this is how it goes. So I apologize if that's troublesome for you, but that's what we'll be doing. Each week there will be uh, each day there will be either a an actual assignment where you actually do an art assignment and draw or paint something or make something. There will also be um, a reading portion where you read from art for the fun of it. Um, and the chapters are really simple. Um, they're not very complicated. I think chapter three uh, doesn't take very long. It's That's the biggest one. And I think it's like, uh, it's almost 15 pages, but uh, it's easy to read print and it goes through really quickly. Um, and then I usually have, um, it, and it depends on the day. Some days we'll have a reading assignment. Some days we'll have a video assignment where you watch YouTube or you watch a TED Talk or something of that nature. Um, every assignment has listed either in the assignment itself will have questions that I ask. Just ask you to answer those and you can type those up. You can handwrite them. You can photograph them and then upload them to D2L. With any drawing that you do, uh, so like, for example, this is my drawing. I'm going to take my camera. I'm going to snap a photo of it. And I would like the photo to have a unobscured background. So non-cluttered, like more on my desk or a table. Take a picture of it. Um, and that's what you would upload to D2L when you're done. If you have a writing assignment, that's what you would do is upload that as either a writing, uh, a word tab or um, it could be a photograph of it too. So uh, there, um, and then the last thing we have is the Mark Kistler portion. And the Mark Kistler portion is uh, a portion that will be um, the drawings for that you will uh, have to add in um, and just take a picture of it when you're done. Um, the rules on Mark Kistler are that I don't want you to draw at the beginning of each chapter so when we start here, see the cloud texture style, peeling shadow style, chiseled stone style. Um, I don't want you to draw those. You can have those in your drawing, but I want you to draw the assignments that appear. So there's Amazing Ants. There's Ant-Man on the next page, Apple Appetite, uh, Ascending Achievement. Um, and then each, as you go along, there will always be the block letters, but I want you to draw from the actual drawing assignment. Now, the drawing assignment needs to fill the page. So the whole drawing should not be this tiny little drawing here. It should fill the page, okay? It also needs to tell a story. So if you're drawing the amazing or the crater cave that's right here, then how about adding some guy speed lunking in the crater cave or there's a monster in the crater cave? What I'm trying to do is get kids to imagine more than just what they have. So um, seeing a story occur in something that they draw. Oh, and I forgot, uh, you'll need pencils. Um, some of the assignments in the Mark Kistler, the state of Minnesota requires that we learn a whole variety of drawing mediums and that we know different mediums and materials to use. It's gonna be a key component of what we do, the state of Minnesota guiding us and telling us what we have to do. So. I recommend this. This is a general's drawing class pencil set. Um, it has, as you can see here, it has green pencils, which are lead or what we call graphite in the art world. It has charcoal, these yellow ones. It has a, a piece of um, willow charcoal. And then as you can see down here, it has white charcoal. And then there is also Conte, um, which is another drawing medium that the um, four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were really good at using. So. Um, Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo, and Michelangelo. They really like to draw with red Conte, white Conte, and then black charcoal. And then I have a big stick of graphite. Those are all things that we will use throughout the year. Um, I will talk about those at various times or have things that go along with it. Um, the idea is, is that when you teach art, you try to teach art in a variety of different mediums. 
Um, I will also talk about incorporating art history into the assignment and then always showing artists that have been really successful already so that you have a way of showing art history. And then um, we're always constantly talking about what makes art good. So that's something else that we're going to have to aesthetics. Um, so those are the things that we're going to be doing. Um, look for all your assignments under the assessment tab. Now, um, I think the last week of class is sometime in June towards the end, um, like the last week of June. It's a five week course. Now, bear in mind that it is summer and you are going to have things that happen. So I have what I call fluid due dates. I don't have due dates, actually. You can work on all the assignments whenever you want to at any pace that you want to get as many done from any item as you want to. Um, the hard part then becomes for me to grade them because I don't grade them necessarily when you get them done. I will choose different times where I go through and check and see how many assignments people have done and I will leave some feedback on assignments, um, mostly the art assignments. Um, if you have a direct question or are not sure, you can always email me at, um, I think my it's john.sterner at smsu.edu or it's m-e-l-a-u-h-a at smsu.edu, uh, Mila Yuha, which is my Lakota name. Um, so uh, bearing that in mind, if you have any questions, that is the beginning. Um, I hope that it is... Um, self-explanatory in some regards. If you get on the assignments page off the assessments tab, you will see that it is week one, day one, and those are the assignments listed. Uh, and then inside each one, there should be uh, usually a little YouTube video to watch, or there might be a video of me making something and showing you how to do it. Um, I think I might be adding some more video as the, as the course, uh, goes on where I try to introduce what each day is um, to be a little more self-explanatory. Um, I'm sure I'll have to talk about the Kistler drawings again. Um, they should tell a story, um, fill the page, um, they should be complete, and then um, you always need to sign it at the end. And then uh, don't use the letters, only use the drawings that pertain to each letter. And you get to choose. The only thing you don't get to choose on the Mark Kistler is the medium. So each week there'll be two graphite, there'll be two charcoal, um, then they'll go into uh, fine point pen, and then you'll go into Sharpie, and then there'll be markers, and I think there's colored pencils, there's a watercolor one. Um, yeah, so hey, welcome aboard. Let's have a great summer session. If you have any questions, again, you can email me or um, yeah, get a hold of me. <laughs> awesome, let's have a good one. Woohoo! make some art.